wife on here. Um, I've got a little DIY project that hopefully will be a really good surprise for one of my clients. Um, so David's a crazy Star Wars fan. And on Facebook, he tagged me in a load of quite cheesy wedding photos that are all Star Wars themed. And I'm sure those people who are in them love them, but it's not quite my style. Um, so I wondered if there was a way to incorporate Star Wars into the wedding photos um, in a non-cheesy way. That would make Sarah the bride happy as well, um, but also make him happy. Um, but I also wanted it to be a surprise. Um, I didn't want him to figure out what was going on. So I've got an idea. It might be rubbish. If it is, this video probably won't make it to YouTube. If it's quite good, uh, fingers crossed, this will. Um, so what I did and the idea is I've bought a £15 EOS 650 um, film camera um, and the plan is with one of my flash guns is to project an image onto a wall um, and obviously flash guns are like what 180 or 200 of a second flash um, he won't have a clue at least that's the plan um, so the idea was if images can come through a camera and onto film surely if we had an image in the camera we could push it back out um, that was the plan and fingers crossed it's going to work so if you've never played around before with a film camera this is sort of how it works so i'll just open up the back and I'll move a little bit closer to another camera. So, at the moment, let me take the lens off. You have your mirror here, which goes up to the viewfinder, okay? And this is actually the shutter. So, room manual, if we make it so it's a four second shutter, you should see the mirror flip up and you can actually literally see right through. Okay, so the idea is I'm gonna take out the mirror and the shutter in this video. And basically I want to get some, uh, print on some acetate or some film, an image from Star Wars. So I'll pick a scene from Star Wars. I'll see if I can coax out of him one that he loves. Um, and then in theory, if we attach this to it, we should be able to project that image out of the lens. And the lens that I've got with it is a 35 to 70, okay? So I got that mainly, so depending on how far away we are, we can zoom in and also it's gonna change the distortion. It's also manual so I can change its aperture so hopefully we can find a sweet spot of how crisp the image is. But that's the plan. Um, I use MagMod, so these are magnetic. So I'm probably gonna have to super glue something into here um, just to really fix it. Or I might just cable tie it on. I'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, this is about to get some carnage done to it. So fingers crossed. And I'll start now. Okay, so firstly, let's take that off. Um, I don't really know how best to do this. It might just be brute force, to be honest. Because I can't exactly see any small screws. Although I'm sure they do exist. <laughs> 